This is the third Northern Ireland Writers' Day, which the Arts Council of Northern Ireland has organised in partnership with the Royal Society of Literature. Talking in particular today about uh, writing for stage and screen. We had a workshop this afternoon which was taken by the writer and playwright Bonnie Greer with several emerging writers from Northern Ireland. This evening we're having a debate. It'll be chaired by Bonnie Greer and we'll have writers from here, Paul McVeigh, Fanula Kennedy and Stacey Gregg. Well, the scene is amazing. As we know, uh, Ireland has a rich, astonishing history uh, of writing talent, uh, and we're always looking to find out what new voices we can support. So I think events like this really go a long way to build those bridges in terms of community and making sure that we advocate those voices. There's enormous courage and sort of self-assurance as well that is really exhilarating. So because the rest of the world is looking in at, at Northern Ireland all the time, now these eyes are looking out and looking at them from a, from a particular perspective. I think this is a massive endorsement. The hope is that we're shining a light on the talent from Northern Ireland. We've previously worked with poets and children's writers and Irish language writers and novelists, crime writers, and now this one is on stage and screen. So we really are covering every corner of um, the Northern Ireland writing world. And it's, it's a very exciting time, I think. What's interesting about everyone on the panel is that there's a, you know, everyone sort of has put their hand to different forms of creativity. Uh, and I'm always interested in the cross-pollination of those platforms. I think we're set for a really interesting conversation. The Arts Council working together with the Royal Society joins up the local with the international in a way that is new. And I think we're beginning to see the benefits of that already.